Greetings everybody out there in the watch loving world. As you can see, I got some of my outdoor plants uh, brought in the house because we're in October in the beautiful Midwestern United States and it's getting a little cold outside. So my wristwatch check today, I'm wearing my Tudor Black Bay 41, the dive watch with the black bezel and a pretty versatile three hand watch. Anyway, today we're going to take a look at the Black Bay uh, prototype number one or P01. The Tudor Black Bay 41 is four, has a 42 millimeter case. It's a bi-directional bezel and it's activated by a mobile end link at 12 o'clock. The screw down crown is at 4 o'clock, reminding me of my Seiko SKX. Uh, the reference on this model is the 70150. And the, the P01 stands for prototype number one. This was a prototype in 1967 that uh, was offered to the United States Navy and the Navy turned it down and instead they took a Bulova watch. And so Tudor came out with this all these years later and this has a uh, silicone um, balance spring. It has 70 hours power reserve. The movement is the in-house MT5612 is it's COSC certified it's a chronometer it comes on a leather strap but I put it on a mesh strap feels a little bit better on my uh, wrist and with, with all tutors now this comes with a five-year warranty and of course it is a screw down crown uh, the water resistance is 200 meters or 660 feet and it has a sapphire crystal in it and uh, 70 hour power reserve is pretty good but this um, it, it has those uh, strange uh, end links on there now you, you can put it on a 20 millimeter uh, bracelet or a 20 millimeter leather strap but you have these um, strange end links there and so if you put it, try to put it on a NATO, it's like it's sitting on table legs on those end links. And um, a person with a larger wrist, of course, the leather's not going to fit your wrist. It pretty goes up to about an 8-inch wrist. And um, anything bigger than that, you're going to have to find something else to put on it. But I put the um, Strapco uh, mesh uh, bracelet on it. And it's a little bit more comfortable for me. It, it is a big watch, it's a heavy watch, 42 millimeters. So, uh, uh, with everything said about this Tudor uh, P01, uh, do I like the watch? Uh, yes, I do like the watch. Um, the strange end links, uh, not, not so crazy about those. Um, it, it'd be better if it was just something that would fit on a, a regular strap so I could get a regular strap to fit on my wrist um, <clears throat> but uh, now this prototype when it came out in 1966-67 it was a prototype for a Tudor Submariner so now they call it a Black Bay P01 which kind of proves my point that uh, Rolex has the Submariner Tudor has the Black Bay Anyway, um, you call it a Black Bay, it's still a Submariner, just a, by different name only because, you know, it's uh, two different companies, but they're closely related. So, I guess for marketing reasons, uh, we give the Submariner to uh, Rolex and the Black Bay to Tudor, but they're, they're beautiful watches. Uh, this is retails for $4,100 US dollars. And um, I think for $4,100 US dollars, um, 
the uh, strap um, could be a little bit better and they probably should offer it on a bracelet the original p01 was on a bracelet well if you like the video hit like hit subscribe and i will see you in the next video